Welcome to our FileHold video tutorial. The focus of this presentation is how FileHold integrates with Microsoft Office applications, such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and OneNote. The intended audience for this presentation is all users of FileHold. The following topics will be covered in this demonstration. How to add new documents from an Office application, how to check out and check back in documents from an Office application, and how to attach a feedback document during a workflow process. For FileHold and Microsoft Office integration, we support the following Office applications, uh, Microsoft Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and OneNote. The supported versions are currently Office 2007, Office 2010, and 2013. In today's demonstration, I'll be using Office 2010. Now, the integration occurs with the FileHold desktop application. So the FileHold desktop application must be installed, running, and you must be logged in to the application in order for the FileHold Office client window to appear. So let's get to the live demo. So here I am in Microsoft Word 2010, and I'm going to show you how to add a new document into FileHold. So first you need to create your document, and then we're going to save it. Once it's been saved, then I can go to ahead to my FileHold ribbon and click the Add button. Now, this is the FileHold Office Client window, and when you add a document through the FileHold Office Client window, it's exactly as when you add a document through the FileHold Desktop application, or you need to set the destination folder, so you need to tell FileHold where that document's going to live, and you also need to set the schema and the metadata information for that document. Now, if you're using a schema that has auto-filing configured, you could click the auto file button right here and the destination folder for this document would be automatically set for the user. However, I'm going to do this the old fashioned way and I'm manually going to select a folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my schema. Now, if you're using uh, database lookups on the schema, uh, you can do that uh, through the FileHold Office Client window. So, for example, my Pro Bicycle Manual schema is hooked up to an external database. So, once I click the Lookup button, my metadata values are automatically pulled in from that table. So, I'm going to close this document. I'm also going to delete the local copy, and then I'm going to click Add. So if I go into the FileHold desktop application and I go to my recently added folder, here is the document right here. Next, I will demonstrate how to check out a document and check it back in using the FileHold Office client window. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to browse for my document. And I don't know exactly where that document is, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a search for that document and I need to find my Word document. So I'm just going to use this one here and I'm going to check it out. Now whenever I am checking out a document it gets lo downloaded to my local computer so if you ever need to work offline with it, you can. Here's my document and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make my changes. And once I'm done, I'm going to save my changes locally. And then I'm going to go to the file hold ribbon and check that document in. File hold remembers the document that you had checked out previously. Uh, so you don't have to go searching for it. It's already in the checked out documents list. And then once I'm done, uh, maybe I needed to change the metadata at this point. I'm going to also close and delete the local copy. And once I'm done, I'm going to click check in. And if I go back to my desktop application, I go to my recently accessed folder. 
I can now see that there's two versions of this document. Okay, here's my version one, here's my version two. Next, I'm going to show you how to attach a feedback document to a workflow process. A feedback document is a document that provides a response, comments, or markup for the document or documents that are being reviewed or approved in a workflow. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and initiate a workflow on my user guide. So my user guide needs to go out for review before it gets released. So I'm going to go ahead and initiate my manual review workflow. And I already have the template already filled out, so I just need to click OK and my workflow gets initiated. I'm going to go back over to Microsoft Word and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that document that's associated with the workflow. Here it is right here. So I'm going to show the documents that are a part of that workflow and here it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a copy of this document. Okay, so here's my user guide that needs to be reviewed. I'm going to use the review ribbon inside of Microsoft Word so I can provide comments and track my changes. So you can come in here, add some new comments, uh, make any changes. Okay, once you've done providing your feedback, you can save this file. No, I do not want to check it out. And then I'm going to go to the file hold ribbon and click on review and approve. It's going to ask me which workflow I am working with and it's my manual review workflow. So I'm going to go ahead. Now I'm going to provide some comments here. Uh, I can say please see feedback document for changes necessary to guide. Uh, so it's using the active document, so that document that I've added the comments and the markup to as my active document. I'm going to close the document and then remove the local copy of this file. Okay, so I'm done here. I'm going to click OK. So here I am in the workflow status report in the administration panel of the web client. All right, so here is the document that I just completed reviewing. If I expand this, here are my comments. I can expand this out if necessary. And I can also download a copy of that feedback document from here and then go ahead and make any changes to my original document by checking it out, making the changes, and checking it back in. Thank you for watching this video tour. For more detailed information on the features of FileHold software, please contact sales at filehold.com or visit our website at www.filehold.com.